This is developed some noise. So I've recorded everything, I've recorded every cycle on it. I thought, right, I'm gonna put it in a boil wash, take it out for now, put some else in. It's knocking! Oh no! I'll show you when it spins up. And I'm gonna s to be honest, I'm going to stop it anyway because it's done its rinses. I think it's on final spin anyway. That's if it will spin. It can't spin! Whatever's causing it, it can't, it's... Stopping it from spinning. Okay. Play it on plug, uh, undo and then they'll have a look. I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a look. Spider, let's have a look. So pull that. Nope. Pull that. This is right in the middle. They have an old one, that. Hmm. You. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to quickly put it on to spin as normal, see if it actually spins. Because if it doesn't, then there's nothing we can do. Well, just yet. It just seems a bit odd. So look at this, this should, it does heat up and it does run, um, I do know because I kind of it in before I bought it, I bought it, it's a 37647E, it's a Creed Condenser vent free system, this would probably date 93ish or something like that, 93, 94ish, um, but yeah, this is apparently a rubbish, they're quite rubbish really, that's why there's not about this by having the Creeder name and made by a Creeder and this is ripped. <laughs> Great. It's definitely not running right that. Yay! 
Yay, a pancake. Anyway, so that's the filter which is ripped heavily. Look, it's still got filters for it. Cut that. And then it's a condenser. That comes off. Unless it overhooks that. This slide. That comes off. And then this comes out and this is your condenser. How it ever dried anything? I'll never know. But well, this is weird because this is just on the front of the condenser. It's not through it. Which is even more bizarre. So, no idea how it's going to really work. There we go. This would look that off. So obviously it comes across there. Not exactly sure how it then goes through it. Also, the door handles broke. That's your uh, moisture sensor. So this will run on the band system, and then we'll advance down afterwards. Um, so I'll put these in. Cotton's high, out for low. It does heat. We'll put it on E. Not so dry. Might survive one more video. I'll do it. The economy is just half load on this. Then you've got cotton sensitive skin, which is even more bizarre because look, cotton, 95. And four inches. Yet it's shorter. And yet you still have half load. Cot colours is at 60 and 10 minutes shorter and you got delicates which is at 40 and this is a sensitive skin look and you got stains at 4, 60 what's odd though is you've got 30, 40, 60 and then you got two jumps there it's like this was designed to have a 50 in mind and they didn't put it in, look, 30, 40, 60, but 60 is between these two gaps here, yeah, and then 95. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inches spin, 12, 8, 400, no spin, and rinse hold. I 
Or has he got delicates over here, which isn't sensitive skin? So delicates with four inches are now a two. Yeah, delicates over here with four inches, but it's actually five minutes shorter than delicates with four inches. That makes sense. So there is a difference somewhere. A bit like the colours as well. So the colours is what, 40, 3 inches, and yet the colours over here is 60 with 4 inches. So it's 5 minutes shorter. Weird, the sensitive skin one is shorter. That's quite good because it's 30 degrees, 2 rinses, 14 spin. Which can go up to 60. And 4 rinses an hour. Hmm. So do cotton 95 with three rinses. This is heating and it's heating very fast. Yep, that may look weird but uh, what I've done is taken the door off this LG and then I've taken the uh, shield out which is why it's actually just all white underneath so basically and then you put that on and it makes it look grey and it's not uh, and then I stuck it on there so we can see the toe wash this is finished drying it drives perfectly oh my god wow <laughs> that actually worked Hmm, I like that actually. Uh, it just needs uh, really kind of, it needs a door handle now and uh, a new filter. So I'll just quickly show you. So when I obviously got this, it's got the rip, the water level's up to there. If there's anything, there's a tiny, tiny bit of leak. Ooh, actually, there really isn't. There isn't really any leak at all. So there's no real need to change that door seal. At least for me, for now. If I was to ever sell it on, uh, I would have to uh, change it. Uh, yeah, we've got the Siemens Series IQ at 1435. Uh, Oh, that's load. Uh, yeah, and this is the six kilo one. It's reading something though, which is a bit bizarre. But look at this! Uh, yeah, it's gone like this because it's well, yeah, it probably has been used quite a lot at thirty or forty with pods. And we know how little these will. Well, no, this is a later version, uh, but it's not been used for over two months. So yeah, it's very likely that uh, all of this has kind of got woof over the time. Uh, yeah. See, the only problem with having these fills through there, it uh, all the um, detergent. Let's say where you put liquid or. Uh, you know, you put fabric software in, it just turns it black. But yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna run this tomorrow or whenever. Uh, yeah, but there is a quite a lot of difference, say. I'm oh, certainly resetting. Uh, Cause like, this is 50 minutes, yet the 
older one that I've got obviously is a bit quicker. And I'm sure the 1835 is like really quick in comparison. 1834, sorry. So we've got the 4035, the 84, uh, the 4, and the 0. There's a 2, there's a 3, and there is a 1 as well versions. I'd love to get hold of all of them. Uh, yeah, so that's tomorrow. I've got another machine in a minute. Uh, I've got the modern Bosch in. I've got a, a series 4, which isn't very old. Uh, not entirely sure how old, but it's got Eco 46 on. That's how old it is. At least the motor's not squealing anymore like it was before. when I first fired it up at his house, but you can... The bits of spider kind of falling away in that. Fair. Looks like we can probably use it for now. Test out the suspension on this Samsung. It is horrid inside. Ugh. The suspension should be fine. Right, we're also going to test out. Straighten it off. This uh, Bosch. That's a Bosch. Um, <coughs> one two eight zero eight one. This is the one with the classics drum as well. So yeah, no difference there. Fills up through the there, it's per usual. It's got a heat shield on it on this version. Yep, take it in the uh, detergent. Notice they've modified this drawer actually. It's very cheap, it is thinner than ever before. So, and then we've got uh, this Siemens Series IQ that I bought for 20 quid. It does work! Uh, but that being said, I was turning the drum. Look at the moulds inside. Look at the drum. What's the difference to that? 
Uh, anyway, it's a Cottons. 90. Stays. Extra rent. It looks like... Because this is... So the program on this is a lot longer, so yeah, we'll put some of the surgery in there. So, update, uh, in, Bosch is clearly heating, in fact that probably is, like, it, it, it's really warm here, so it must be heating towards 60 inside, but we've got 57 minutes left, and we're on speed perfect run, hmm. um, Bosch series IQ, it took off over half an hour uh, when it sensed. Again, that's a lot warmer. Actually, probably, yeah, no, it's a lot warmer than that. Um, although it does heat faster. Obviously, this heats anyway. I'm just waiting for it to obviously try and spin at some point. That's what we're up to. Ow. Oh, it's still going.
Oh, really? This it does spin. I'm seeing that. Like, I'm not entirely sure why this is up to. Is this some rinse mode or what? I'm not exactly liking this new speed perfect. Hmm. Not sure. Straighten it again. After just doing nothing.
it's sort of done its first rinse. And I don't know whether it's supposed to be like doing an intermediate spin or what. Maybe it doesn't do intermediate spins. I don't seem to do one yet. And it's filling through the pre wash. Suspension's fine on that. To be honest, I'm just going to take the door seal off, bleach it, put it back on. I'll get a door handle and... I thought the brushes really needed changing. They probably do. At some point. But at the minute, it's fine. And that's not bad considering there's only two towels in there. Yeah. I'm not gonna that, that's all right. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take the seal off and bleach it. Um, also, to be honest, it needs running a few more ball washes out of it. It st still stinks. To high heavens. That's going to need quite a bit doing to it as well. It's going to need some, quite a few cleans going through. This, I don't even believe, don't even know what it's doing. I don't know what it wants to do. It's just filled up through a bit of a rinse. I don't know. It's in the whole main wash absolutely fine. And now it's just sort of here. It's not really wanting to do anything. Is it the new speed perfect? Is it, or is it just, or is there an actual programming code error about it. I don't know. Well, I do this thing. Hopefully it might go through the final spin fine. Apart from the door handle, it's fine. The nail, actually. I'm quite surprised, really. Don't know what's going on with this Bosch. Oh, it may just over suds, but it should be flashing, really, the rinse icon. Oh no, the, the wash icon, the bubble icon, to say it over suds. It's now added 12 minutes on. It looks like it's trying to do a spin. That's on final spin. Full left spin. Twenty minutes. Yeah, so we'll see. That's done. The spin fine. I mean, the damp is kind of like deteriorated more than it should have done. See if this works. The heater actually, look, there's no burn marks on the heater. There we go. Bit writing on the top. But hey, nothing's perfect, hey? Uh, yeah. A lot of sawdust because whoever's bought the house has obviously been doing building work. But this building work's been going on for the house has been passing, you know, and they're clearly doing it up sort of slowly ish because every so often there's another appliance thrown out. Um, you never know. 
what the washing machine might be. But they, they threw out not too long ago uh, a cooker that again, brown from maybe the late 80s. It, was, it wasn't anything special, it was a 50 centimetre one. Don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not collecting cookers. Uh, then they threw out like a, a more modern white small fridge. Um, and now this. I mean, I pass that house most days, so you never know what might happen. It's on the main road. That's the thing, though. It's on the main road. Well, oddly enough, this was out for a few hours, and it wasn't taken. And same with the cooker. In fact, the cooker was out for about three, four days. Um, amazingly, it wasn't taken. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to put a thingy, a tablet in, and then... Uh, We'll uh, try and run it. Right, normal wash. There we go. Start. But one initial problem is there is no timeline. It's clear a timeline is supposed to go across. I'll tell you where it's up to, but I can't seem to see one. Straight into that because the pipes you know snapped off. Is very nice, very nice. And just as I literally went to Stop the camera, it's tripped the electric. But well, it's only tripped a small amount. But that being said, like, I don't think, um, maybe not anything to do with the heater. Because hmm. we're on normal wash, so it's supposed to be a pre rinse thing first and then followed by. Uh, a couple of uh, and then a main wash so I don't think it heats on pre-wash but I'll just double check yeah, see if this works 
that we are running on an extension lead, which isn't great, but I'm only running it on it, so it's not a bad thing either. Not what it came with. Yeah, it's been direct drained for ages. And then it just occurred to me that it might not be direct drain right now. Oh no, it is. What is it? Can't tell. There we go. Right, I'll just move the uh, hose over. Uh, this is the same as the black one that I've got. Anyone remember the black one I had? Yeah, it's still in the uh, collection, but I obviously had a broken screen. And a broken door as well. Oddly enough, this is broken as well. Look, it's like a chip there. Heat. <laughs> probably because the filter, uh, the condenser's probably completely clogged up. But still, so. No water there in a minute. Oh, this Siemens came with. That Siemens IQ. They've both been sat around for two, three months. Oh, and you replace it with ugh, a Samsung set. Well, we're all done. And we're in a big ball. These are just sheets. Well, they've only just balled up about those things. And only just done it. Yeah, weirdly. Spot on. Hmm. Not much hope on these two, though. Same series IQ, like we'll put in 435 on a uh, boil wash with some towels to help obviously help help it clean it out. Reeks in there. This uh, dog out. It's been five years. Easily five years. Um, it was last year in my old house, yeah, five years. Uh, so we put it in, we put it on, I put some towels in, I put some oil in, I put it on Time Saver 60. Uh, and the reason is it's not going to get involved in the wash race. It's actually going to a new home. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, it's getting sold. Well, sort of. It's getting traded. And money to the other person as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's sort of a trade. So I'm quickly running this to make sure it all works. Uh, 
um, or working as it was when I put it away, which it was fully working actually. Uh, and then I'm going to pass it on to new home, which is a bit bizarre really, because I'm not. <laughs> everyone knows me. I don't like really passing on. I don't really like letting go of my machines. The only issue I've had is because when that, what happened was when I first wrapped it, I wrapped it and didn't. And of course, water sits in the sump. So there is specks of mould which have appeared since it was wrapped up. Please stop filling. You don't normally fill that high. I had to take the pressure switch off. Okay, so just stop filling. See how bad the 15 years of suspension is. I've seen worse. A lot worse. You see, normally, I mean, that's pretty bad, but normally it can get to the point where it really wants to jump and almost hit the glass. It's not doing that, so. There's some life left, but I'm putting like there's a very small amount of life left, as per usual. Strange after about 10 minutes, this is heating. Take mildly, we're at about 25 there. <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. It's not brilliant, but it's fine. Oh, and yeah, a little update with this as well. Anyone who's been watching my videos uh, five years ago, 
Well, see, this would always slows lock um, quite badly once you go past a half a load. I've not really done slows lock with that. If one, it would put half a load in, uh, more half a load, say like three or four kilo in, it would always slows lock. I've checked the filter, there's nothing in it at all. Completely empty. I have no idea why it's doing it. But the only thing I could think of is at the time in my old garage, the pipes were set at 1.2 meters, whereas in here they were set to about 80 centimeters, just slightly below the height of the machines. So maybe that further travel made it harder to drain out effectively. on the best.
sold to a customer and it came back after just one, well, say it came back. I was not it after one day. Send me a video, let's do this. But, a bit bizarre, a bit of a bizarre one because of course, and this is aren't known for doing this kind of noise. It's a high pitch kind of whine, but it's not the rear bearing. It's one of the fans, and I can't tell whether it's the front one or the rear one. Of course, it's heat related as well. So when you start it up normally, there's no noise and then you get this quiet whine and then it gets louder and louder and louder as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. But metal expands, but so does plastic. It can kind of start to warp a little when it gets hotter and then contracts again afterwards. So we'll sort that out. 